Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. Yo, what the fuck is good, y'all? It's your boy Bugs back with the Full Circle Podcast. Got my guy Carney in this bitch. Cheers, mate. Give me a hum. My guy. Yeah. Give me a cheers. Yeah, cheers, baby. Chaser buggy all day. Mm. So this is my guy. We met maybe two, three years ago. Not even, maybe. Yeah, like, th- well, this, I don't, I'm not saying the word. Yeah. The thing that happened yeah. <laughs> was dragged out, so it doesn't feel like it's been three, four years. You're right, man. But it's only it's actually been three. But all the live takes that you see are at this motherfucker's crib with him, with the instrumentalist that this motherfucker has, you know. So we wanted to do a lot of live takes last year just to show people what we actually sound like because everybody so muddied, muddied the fuck up live. So this is like one of my favorite creative motherfuckers around. Period. Fuck the fuck the area. Like like Aww. period. So um, dude, what have you been up to? Why were you in Ocean City, dude? What you got coming up? Yo, I was down here visiting my my brother's studio. Mm-hmm. And how's it look, dude? It, it, he just got it. All right, so he just he moved from Hamilton, and he moved from there to Ocean City, like four blocks off the beach. Mm-hmm. And Dude, it's sick. It's still coming along. Still work in process prog- mm-hmm. or progress. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, man, it's coming along, dude. And it's gonna be. I can't wait to see it during the summertime. What um, what did you guys decide for your album? We just came up with a game plan and stuff, and uh, cause I got like, I've been working on this album for like, dude, since I was like twenty four, man. So mm-hmm. like, I'm thirty one now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, uh, that, I remember. I just know how it is being an artist. Period. And when people say like. Got to make it by 23, 24, 25. Yes. I just remember as a kid being like, yo, Eminem didn't make it until he was 28. I got until I'm 28 at least. Yeah. But now I'm, I would say I'm, 27. I'm your age too. So now I'm like, oh, I'm just going to be that 70-year-old rapping at the, yes. gra- uh, at the graveyard. Exactly. <laughs> I'm on, exactly. And I literally, I literally I have feel the no, same way, man. Yeah, I have no um, embarrassment about it. Like, we, nah, I don't, I don't. As a creator, we don't create for that reason to be on by as a true creator. Yeah, everybody creates for different reasons. Yeah, but I think a true creator creates just for the sake of creation, and putting it out is like a blessing. So that's why, like, I cherish people like you, because not only are you innovative you're down to improv you're down to do it oh, right yeah, now I love improv right man. there let's fucking get it done and we haven't even had a chance to collab yet i know that's man. what's crazy we've just been working on I our feel like we've been own uh, shit together mm-hmm, you know which mm-hmm, is beautiful because mm-hmm. you can't find much rappers or musicians that are just down to like linking or especially musicians who are in bands and shit so like you're you're even though you have hopped on the keys for my live songs, man. Yeah, well man. that was like the requirement. <laughs> yeah, 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 but I do. Shout a lot out of people, to Coco Evolve. Yeah, a lot dude. of people loved you on that though, man. Just, so you <laughs> just know. The like they like the energy, the energy, man. You know, when you said that to me when it released, everybody loves your energy on the piano. Yeah. First thing I did was like individually watch all of your sh- everybody else because I was like, what? Is- Am I like that out there? And like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, like making the faces, you know. Keys are oh, so yeah, man, fun. You, you were a vibe, dude. Keys are so fucking you were fun, a vibe for sure, dude. Your songs are vibes, dude. Thanks, man. So like, so you said you started. What was the real start of writing this album? Is it a specific song when you were twenty four? Speak into the mic a little bit. So, I mean, so I've been because it like this is what I'm saying is because how I have I have. The other day, I just went through all my files, and they were yeah. just organized kind of like um, the times that I did them. So I organized them th- by genre, which is every fucking genre. And then I went through them and picked my favorites of every one. Oh, nice, and man. now I finally the have- The strongest a, ones. Yeah, now I fight for me, yeah. And then those strongest ones, I want to have a night where it's just me, you, Johnny Bones, May, all the people, you know? And I'm going to play everyone one by one, and you guys, if it's a no, it's a no. If one person says no- yeah. I know they're all going to be yes, but I need yeah. it to be all yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. So I want to have like a listening session. So is it like that? You accumulated a lot of songs and you like your favorite ones? So I really, I mean, I say I started working on the album when I was 24, but really, it's I feel like of you as a I didn't know I was going to have an album. I just started deciding that I just need to start writing more. I, I, at that age, at 24? Yeah, so I, I, I started, I wrote my first song when I was like 11 or 12 and... Like, Damn, uh, you started early. I still have the the uh, I still have the notebook where it was in too, wow. so I still have it. That's awesome. And it was like about like getting grounded and shit, and like <laughs> and just yeah. like little kid shit. Typical stuff. Well, didn't you say you were like hardcore? 
not you, like, not heavy at that metal? not not yet. Oh, that was before that. Or? That was at, the heavy metal came after. Oh, after like what age? Like when I was in high school. Yeah, so so you started writing at eleven, and it was yeah. more like just vibes like middle of, school vibes. Is like when I started trying to sing and like write songs. What vibe? What genre? Ah, I would say like, it was like it was like when the emo was popping off, man. Ah, like yeah. like taking back Sunday. All right, and, so uh, you went from the emo and then into the heavy. So my 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 brother, I call him my brother, but just because it's so hard to un, it's so hard to describe. Everybody's what, our bro. Yeah, it's so everyone's hard. a dude. So he's literally he's like he's like my mom's ex husband's stepson, and mm-hmm. he's my two half sisters' stepbrother. That's that's how he is. So that's crazy. Dude. Yeah, my mom was married before they got divorced, and then he married some chick, and then she, uh, she already had him, mm-hmm. and then like the two girls my mom had with her ex husband, they're my half sisters now. Now that and he's their step brother. <laughs> there we go. Families and, are yeah. confusing, dude. So Once I, you get the second yeah. cousins, it's like dog. So he actually, yeah, he actually got. I've always like known of elf him. We were never close or nothing, obviously, but. Did you guys know always that you were like related like that? Yeah, we've oh, always all right, known because, right. like, yeah, because like my my mom, even though they got divorced, they were still kind of stay together for the kids, and like sometimes if, if my parents went away, I would go stay with them sometimes, and I would I would see him coming, and he would I would just see him. He had like seven guitars at one time. I was mm-hmm. like a little kid. I was like, yeah, when you're a kid and you see a guitar, yeah. Like, even if you don't know how hard it is in between the strings, there's something about the guitar, seeing drumsticks. Yes. Like, that makes you... I don't know if everyone yeah. feels this, but I felt it when mm-hmm. I was when I was in, like, sixth grade and I, like, the School of Rock movie was coming out. <laughs> and they had bookmarks. Jack White. Yeah, and they had... Jack Black. Jack White. Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Black, right? Yeah, and they had fucking... They had bookmarks of, like, every character from the show. Yeah. And the coolest looking one was the drummer. And in yeah, sixth grade, man. I just selected it, never expecting to make... Like you say, you started at 11. Mm-hmm. I didn't start making music until I was yeah. 18. Yeah. And I moved across the country to do it. I moved to Arizona to do it, to find myself as a rapper. What? It means I did a lot of shrooms and drugs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not the bad drugs. I did the good drugs. Yeah, that the, makes na- sense. The, na- the natural man- drugs. The n- yeah. earth made. Yeah, to make me like really think about like, what am I going to write about? Yeah. And then I just spent the, the year that I lived there just writing, even if it was corny and trash, which all of it was. And what it was like to me, metaphorically, you need was like, that though. You need that. You yeah, need I was that just running the faucet get... until the muddy water got out, and now everything I shit out is gold. Everything. I mean, Fuck this is yeah. a while later, but it took. I think I really found my sound right right before the whole thing happened uh-huh. a couple years ago, three years ago. I really found it then. But it nice, takes it man. takes so that's what so comparing that to me, or comparing me to you. Like eleven to then to now, whereas mm. eighteen to then to now, whereas I feel like now I have accumulated different genres worthy of projects. You're now at that spot too. Yeah, man. From from that area though. Yeah. So do you do you do you have a specific song that like set off this project? Um. Yeah, and it was the it was the song that I literally just dropped my only song I have out right now. <laughs> the sweet sounds. Sweet sounds. Yeah. Yes. I think that that might have been. That, that was like your opening to be like, yo, I should just. Go that might have been the first one yeah. I, I made, and it was nothing like it didn't sound anything like how the official one sounded. Well, like, you don't but. go from heavy metal to that without really understanding. Oh hell no! Who dude. you are? Yeah, that was a whole energy. journey too. Yeah, that was a yeah. whole other journey. Whew. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. If we just did a snippet right now of like a recording of you. From yeah. 15 10 years ago yeah to man. now it's completely nah, different. you're morphed into you yeah that's awesome dude and maybe the metal you know the metal to contribute a little bit to mm-hmm. and it's great you know crazy well you man. guys have that one song where you got a little punkish when we oh, were yeah. when we were at the shoot for that the live take what was that what where he's like hey oh what was that one it's the jam one where you do the solo Oh, is that when Drew's singing? Yeah. That oh, one. that's Drew's. Oh, that's Drew's song. Oh yeah. yeah so Drew brings the punk for yeah, real. Yeah, that's Drew. Like, Drew yeah, brings... So Drew. Yeah, Drew's like the long, pretty much the longest. Hi, Drew. Yeah, my man. I'm I, trying to eat fucking veggies, right... man. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Vegan Drew, man. He's my right hand man. Drew's and the shit. Me and him first started playing guitar pretty much together around the same time. So it was like around like 11, 12. Well, we started when were you guys like skaters and stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he was, and I tried to be. Yeah. And I ended up in the hospital a lot. Oh. He was good. He got, he was a pre, he, he got, he chose with like, bikers, X, like X, X, bikers. Games, X Games people and stuff. I tried to drop in the half pipe on rollerblades because I saw Rocket Power. 
I saw Otto do it on Rocket Dude, Power. Dude, I used to love Rocket Power. And I, I used to dress slammed up like on my Twister, tailbone man. so bad. And it was rollerblades, so I just stood up and like I didn't go to, <laughs> I didn't go behind the half pipe. I just rolled. Yeah. And just cried for twenty minutes. How bad was it? I was like ten years old. I didn't know No, I'm t- I'm not talking about like a little it was like a eight foot half pipe drop. Like in the in the skate park in Medford, New Jersey, oh, if you damn. know if you've ever been there. I've never been that one. And I went zoo, straight onto my fucking tailbone. And Just it was like straight, like down? Damn, straight down onto my tailbone. And I've never felt a pain like that. Like I can't explain. I can't even explain it to you guys because I've like you know how bruises or like a yeah. blunt force something feels. Yeah. This was different. This was like, it was like through my whole body because oh it was God. my spine. And obviously, I did none of the cool skaters that yeah. were older than me saw it. So yeah. I was just behind the half pipe crying. Did you As like I'm crying, to go to the hospital? I'm never doing this shit again. And did you but, stop? No, no, yeah, no. stop. I never skated again. Oh damn! I will. There was scooters, a place called Scooters, where all the cool kids would go on Fridays. Oh yeah. And then all the cool kids would go to the scooters. movies on Saturdays. So Scooters was a right a roller skating rink. Oh okay. And I would I had rollerblades for that. I used to love roller skating. Yeah, rink, dude, that was man. so fun. What happened to roller rinks, bro? Dude, oh, roller man. rink with the band in the middle of it. Oh damn! Your vibe, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 you no, know, like yeah, where'd yeah, that yeah, go? Yeah, yeah, we need yeah. to bring it back, bro. Yeah, we do, man. Because like I spent like any vibe, yeah, actually, you're right. any vibe. But that's the thing. Like that's the thing about genres and different shit. Because like I make every genre within me, and I'm in a band too, so I understand how absolutely not difficult. Well, it is difficult being in a band because you have yeah. other people that you have to depend on. You expect everybody else in the group to have that same rigor and energy oh, yeah, yeah. that you have and, and sometimes and, and, and sometimes they don't man and then it doesn't and that's where the solo stuff really comes out and that's that's very, how it comes out how man. it comes out yeah because i think inevitably when people make music it's the reason i do music is literally to hug people like yeah. i literally make music do ciphers throw shows to be around people and hug them and show that like yo you think you don't like heavy metal yeah. you just never saw like either the right thing or it live yeah. you know if you <laughs> yeah. see something live that's why I'm, i like doing these live takes because it gives you a whole different respect like oh he actually sounds like that yeah man. because have you ever heard like this is you when you play them a song oh yeah yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. compliment this ain't you, this ain't you, man. it's a compliment yeah. but at the same time you're like what the fuck you mean is this me yeah, like does my me. voice sound different or something like because this is the voice I talk in, and rapping is kind of talking, but mm-hmm. there is a little bass that comes out when you rap, you know what I mean? And singing, you have to do different vocal inflections. Yeah. That's a funny form of flattery. Yes. But, um, so, so you started in 11, 12, 24 is where you feel you really started honing in on your sound, and now here, yeah. you think it started with Sweet Sounds, so does that mean everything after Sweet Sounds? Yeah. Is essentially on the project. I think it was sweet sounds. You it got was, me. You, you know, you got goal. me right. That was the goal. You got me. Was like maybe I was, was up there, down there in the beginning too, mm-hmm. where I was like, all right, I need to, um, yeah, I need to keep writing songs, and that was my main goal. Like I, I always was, I grew up. I was always just focused on playing guitar. I was a guitar player, mm-hmm. and I thought that was my thing. And I was like, I'm just gonna get shred on guitar, just mm-hmm. get real good at guitar. <laughs> but then like over time, I'm like, I want to do that. So I'm bad. like, you know what? I'm not a shredder. I'm more like nah, I like to, I like to write songs. You shred, yeah. You shred within this capability of the song, which is yeah the hardest thing to do. Yeah, it's like being a pocket drummer, but being able to have epic drum fills at the same time. There's no way you yeah, can do man. that. You either have to be like the vibe of the thing, or you're like consistently showing out. You know, yeah. as a guitarist in the '80s, especially, they were just like. Yeah, man. It was the and slayers tapping. against I'm slayers. Back. And I don't know if you remember, they're like one of the mm. first compliments that I gave you was like, you're the best songwriter out here. Like, you're oh, one of the shit, best. Man. Because I'm a lyricist. I'm a lyrical guy. Yeah, I'm you are. I'm big on lyrics. Uh-huh. I don't give a fuck how the melody... Oh, obviously, I do. I care about yeah. the melody and everything. But yeah. if your lyrics aren't there, like, hitting us in a psychological level that makes us, like, a part of the song, understand it, think of a memory... Think of a future memory that we want, you know, if a song doesn't do that to you, then it's just sound waves manipulating your biology in a different way that yeah, we can't really mean. explain yet. Yeah. But when the song is great, melodically, beat, tempo, and the lyric, like, I'm talking vocally, melodically too, and then add lyrics that have substance, there's something that happens to us. It really makes us connected 
that's why music and throwing shows, it really is a connection thing. Yeah. And that's why I like to do different genres at the shows because, like I said, people otherwise who would never have seen that, I'll never forget. I will never forget. And you can see it on video on, on one of the ethic ciphers that we did when I brought the band out. You guys, yeah. we did a cipher with them playing music. Yeah. And none of the rappers knew it. This was where I was testing the Philly Jersey rappers. Like, yo... It's a cypher. You don't know what beat's going to come. Maybe there'll be a band playing the yeah, beat. Man. Like, they didn't know that. So I put all of them on the fucking spot like that. Some people couldn't do it. That was dope. They, could, they couldn't... They, some of yeah. the rappers could not find the shit. And I actually had someone pull me out. I was like, I love what you're doing, but like, I wish you would have told me because I wouldn't have wasted the bear fair and shit. And I was like, I get it. Thank you for the love, but, yeah, but fuck you. Yeah. You, you need to know how to rap over anything. Some people murdered it, yeah, man. Yeah, no. I murdered it. Uh, some people murdered it, but there was a Reek, moment. dude. Reek, was, hella smooth. This is what I'm about to say. When I did my verse, I was like, anybody want to take the mic? And I waited and I was, no one did. I was like, All right, hit him with a solo. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, into yeah. the solo. Yeah. No one knew that that, that wasn't planned. No, that, that's no. what I mean by improv. Being a musician, you need to be able to, on the spot, not spit a freestyle, not pick up your guitar and play for someone random, like a monkey that winds you up. In the music, in the spot, you need to be able to be aware of like people talking shit and not let it throw you off from your words. All that shit. So when I said that, it just happened to be at the fourth measure of whatever y'all were playing. Mm -hmm. And I timed it perfectly for y'all. And y'all nailed it. Y'all picked it. Y'all were playing soft. And you guys like, okay, this is the solo. And y'all went into the fucking solo. And right when that happens, the video, I don't know if he's out. I'll, I'll put it right the fuck here. Reek goes, oh my god. His brain exploded. And he ran over to you guys to watch. Because he did not expect a solo or like a cohesive group thing to happen there he thought it was just like rappers so now i don't know if you see reek he uh, he finally got like an npc and shit so he's, oh, make, he's, he's making, making his own beats live and that's shit. my initials you know that Dude, what michael NPC? paul Corner, oh, that's my initials, man. Uh, you didn't come to the first cypher back it's self-employed but you got to come to the next one you'll I love will, man. you'll love them it looked lit though that Dude, last one man it, i watched the videos and man. i recorded the actual vocals it wasn't the camera audio like we've always done this oh, was damn. actual vocals like we do live. Mm. And it was one 40-minute beat. Yeah. So there was no switch up. There was no, you know, it was go. If you miss it, you miss it. You're fucked. You know what I mean? Because all the ciphers are for free damn, anyway. stepping it up, bugs. Yeah, all Level around. Level up. I, when I listened to one of the live takes from the cipher before the thing that happened, we're yeah. just going to call it the thing that happened. Yeah, that <laughs> before the thing that happened, thing that's not so mysterious. The audio from the camera, some cameras would have a mic on top of it. And yeah. I could mesh that audio with the beat. Yeah. But it it just it would never work well. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna try it. I know how to do live takes. I'm gonna you know, I did my little rundown. Don't hold the mic too close. Yeah. You know? And dude, it the fucking basics. it fucking worked. Like I, I'll show if if you don't remember or looked at it, I'll show you. Like it's fucking crazy. But that That's being lit, said, man. this motherfucker's creativity came with a band to the cipher. So like People don't do that shit. People can't. That was fun, People man. can't do that shit. My band can't do that. Like, I could sit on the beat and we could play a riff over and over, maybe use song riffs, but, like, it's not improv to the level of you guys, like, fuck it, let's do it, and it be noodly but sounding yeah. great. Like, my band is this song, that song, that song. Yeah, that a lot song. of bands. A lot of bands. A lot are. of bands are, and that's, that's what fucks me up because mm -hmm. my favorite thing is improv. Yeah. So I'm getting my nut off by playing the drums, but yeah. I'm not getting my psychological nut off. Yeah. You know, because right, right, Dara right. is such an amazing songwriter too. Yeah. Like his songwriting, oh, yeah. his lyrics, and everything's amazing, and his stage presence and everything. Oh hell yeah! But there's something about your shit that can be played anywhere, mm -hmm. at any time, for any vibe. Your your music is whoever you use on the instruments can be played anywhere. I don't know if you know, we did a cover gig lat two weeks ago in AC. Oh, yeah. He knew that we were a band. They yeah. wanted majority cover songs. When did you do that? Two weeks ago. Oh, sick. Where at? Uh, the Water Dog. Oh, hell uh, yeah, Shout out man. to my guy, Josh, who got us that, because he, he's bartending there and shit. But I sent the guy... So did you do like a three set thing? Like three hours, yeah. Three hours? Yeah, so so we had to learn a lot of covers, right? Oh, so yeah, So we man. mixed it. We mixed it like 70s, 80s, 90s, 1000s. But we're the only way. We're yeah. like... We kind of go hard. Yeah. So I yeah. let him know, like, dude, like, they don't have any stage or sound. Oh, you guys had to bring your own Play out sound? of our PA and the amps. 
So oh, it was like wow. a garage show. Wow. I was like, dude, you you do know that we're about to be playing like Scotty doesn't know and shit. Oh, <laughs> like you know we're about to be playing System of a Down. And he was like, yeah, like I sent him a <clears throat> nice twelve lit twelve songs out of the list. Yeah, nothing got changed. Sure enough, I knew it was gonna happen. Fucking the ladies, like, can you guys play a little quieter? I was, I'm a very animated drummer. Yeah, I like, I like dancing when I drum. Yeah, but I was already playing like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when she said that, it, it turned me into. Yeah, man. It wasn't fun, and it took the amount of time to load it up was the amount of time we played. Yeah. To load it and take it out. Yeah. It's There's a lot of work, man. So it's not three hours. It's actually seven hours. Yeah. So when I look at it like that, I was like, nah, we're not. It's a lot of work, man. <laughs> if we're going to do cover I, songs. I hate, I hate bringing on my own PA. Yeah. If we're going to do cover songs, dude, we need a sound system at least. Yeah. And we need to like be loud. We need to be us. Like the mountain bar would be better. Oh, like it was a learning know. experience. It was epic, but we're not a cover band either. We've yeah. never done covers at all. Mm-hmm. So... It was just interesting as fuck, but how do you feel about covers? Like, because in Atlantic City, this is the issue with us as a band, too. Because yeah. when hip hop came, it was just a DJ and a rapper. DJ Red, it's been like that for like 15, 20 years. Yeah, man. Bands, there's scenes, but they're not like enough. Yeah. And Jersey's just so, let's go to New York, let's go to Philly, let's get right, the fuck man. out of here. Yeah. When Jersey is actually the breeder of like most of the creative people in the Shit, fucking country. Man. Hell yeah. So, like, how do you feel about, like, you, obviously, you're perfect for cover gigs, though. I used to, yeah, I was, I, dude. Like, your voice is perfect for a heap load of, like, spots is what I mean, mm-hmm. too. Like, mm-hmm. our band, cover-wise, even, we need to be allowed to be loud. Yeah, 100%. You could, you could I feel like, pull off being soft for a while. yeah. I we couldn't. As yeah, a group, right, you know right, what I mean? right. Yeah, yeah. So like, so how do you feel about it? Are you cool with it? Are you like, do you do you feel butt hurt that like they only want cover bands and AC and shit? Uh, I mean, cover bands. It does make you do make some money. Like some some of these guap. cover bands, they charge guap. like a couple. Grand, we got paid. Man. It was guap. Yeah, man. So like, it's soul I like sucking. that. I just like when I, I I I've done the cover stuff, man. For for me, it's like. It's exhausting, man. Like by it the is. playing for three hours or sometimes four out nine, ten, eleven, twelve. People one. requesting four hours sometimes. It, it is customer service too. Yeah. Oh, because people are requesting stuff. People are like, oh, and you're I'll just like, this. yeah, no, yeah, in your head, you can't. But but yeah. Maybe someone in the band knows, and they would start playing it, and then it's just like no one else knows. Dude, it you're bad. a comedian. Imagine if somebody in the crowd was like, "Do that joke." It doesn't even matter. It's like just the idea to yeah. the creator. You're already like. Yeah selling your soul to do covers when because you're a creator yeah you're man. not a performer yeah we're, we're performers but you know what i mean yeah like you're a genuine creator you have beautiful stuff that needs to get out yeah that's my my alone. favorite thing you just do dude even if i could just do a 20 minute set and there's already a drum set there mm-hmm. there's already a back line you just pull up and do it yeah that's and awesome. all, all originals but that's, that's never how favorite. it is nah. <laughs> that's literally you never, don't get a lot of money from never that. how it is like what what you don't get any What really. a deal is is just an investment. It's just the daddy with a paper bag giving you the duffel to do what you want to do to get promoted and marketed and all that. So like, yeah. All we need in New Jersey, it doesn't matter where the fuck it is. We need one venue that's dedicated to original shit. And it doesn't need to be like a bar where that sells food and shit that like cuz like, oh, the food will bring the regular people here and they'll just be here all the time and that becomes the fan base that's not what needs to happen what we need is like straight up a revolving a dude who has a lot of guap to get a building turn it into a live performance john that has no more than 90 people with the studio in the back have like four bands in a night or something yeah have four bands in a night but do it like three days a week type shit and not charge the bands to perform yeah. With a back line that would make it easier on them just to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Whoever yeah. owns the building, record all of it. Sound guy. Sound guy and video, record all of it. Yeah. Build up, document. This is what needs to happen. This is like yeah. kind of something that's I want to do. That, yeah, that's Because I know that it would not only document and show who's who, where they're going, where they want to go, what they want to do. Well, we all want to perform like at the end of the day like and be on stages. I mean, most of us. Like Absolutely. I said, a lot of people get Absolutely, into this shit for brother. different reasons. Like, yeah, you want man. a tour. 
Hell yeah. I want to tour. Again. Hell Some yeah, Some people man. just want to, like, make a little bag and flip yeah. it. I'm trying to get on fucking every stage. Yes. And smell every smell. Yeah. But I think that we didn't have That's any it, OGs man. either. We had no OGs. Yeah. So we had to kind of try to figure shit out ourselves. And mm-hmm. when I was 18, I was like, I remember growing up, people were like, there's no love in Jersey for music. Like when I first got into it, I was like, I'm going to be the guy that makes it love. That's why I started the Cyphers. Yeah. And it worked. So I was like, oh shit, I can do this. But I got oh, yeah, I got man. popular really fast and I yeah. partied and got a DUI. Yeah. And when I got a DUI, I got stuck down here, which is a beach, but it's not the same thing if you're mentally you're not if you're at a beach physically, yeah. but mentally you're fucked up because you don't think things are right. Yeah. The red pill, blue pill thing, yeah. nothing's gonna work out. Yeah. So the fact that everything else fell into place for me and then I was able to connect things again to see that they fell apart quicker, that's when I really locked myself in a in the room and then the thing happened yeah and then that was right around the time where i don't know i don't know if you remember this conversation but we had like a good 30 40 minute convo and i kind of filled you in but i was like yo like i'm not giving my energy to anybody you're one of three people yeah and this was yeah, about i remember um, that almost two years ago and i wasn't lying it was yeah. you <clears throat> johnny bones <clears throat> and may you mm-hmm. were the only three people i was actually communicating with or doing anything with and I slowly opened my door to a few other people that they know yeah. who they are. And they'll be on the podcast and we're going to do a lot of future shit with. Because I was watching. I was. I saw how quick I can connect shit. How quick it can fall apart. How, how epic things can be. But I realized that like accountability. My yeah. fault. I should have been right down everybody's throat the second some weird shit happened. Yeah. Instead, I let it be weird for a while, and then the other side got weird, and then there was no middle ground. Because yeah. now now they were being weird. You know, shit got really weird. So now I was looking at things like, okay, if I work with anybody, they got to be worthy, worthy. Hell yeah, like, man. worthy. And you, obviously, are, like, top pedestal for me. Like, this isn't supposed to me be, like, I'm not, like, just saying shit. Like, yeah. you are, like, the golden light for, like, band shit out here because there's no specific band that's popping anywhere there's no country band there's no rock band like no one bro there's no Jimi hendrix i mean marcus no. king band but they're not popular Mm-mm. so the, the only is he from where, where, where's he from i think he's from like a tennessee or something oh yeah I what, just, I'm, what yeah, i'm leaning to is like the only thing I can really see popping the fuck off as far as bands goes is like maybe some pop shit. But I wouldn't even consider your shit pop. I would consider it reggae or something or whatever yeah. along the lines the genre is. But I consider it pop because it can be played anywhere. Yeah. So like Sweet Sounds is like that's a way out. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's certain songs that could just get you the fuck out there. And that's what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. That's like, And all your songs are like that. Cause man, so once you found sweet sounds, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. where this started. Yeah, you really honed in on that, not that specific that, genre, that the vi- like but the, the energy, energy, the yeah. energy of curating your songs. And now after that production, I'm trying to go after that same kind of production for all the songs too, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, Make it needs to be consistent. So that's yeah. why you're gonna be with the studio here. And, and it's hard, man. It's hard. <laughs> oh no, and it's expensive, bro. It's not as easy. It's that's why easy, rappers man. rap in their room. Yeah. This shit's expensive. Dude. Hell yeah, it's man. really expensive. So, like, just understanding all that, the creation, blah blah, all the things that coming up with just having the balls to be on stage, a lot of that got dulled for me because it, like, rapping wasn't cool when I started. You know, mm-hmm. like, same with when Cash was rapping. Like, everybody knew Cash was a good rapper, but it wasn't cool to be a white yeah. kid and rap. It was still you're a wigger. Now everyone is rapping yeah. and like rapping is not fun to me at all. <laughs> like yeah. Rapping is the least fun thing for me. So I found that I'm, um, I'll write a cypher verse every like twice a week and yeah. dude, even, I'm not creating and I'm still creating. So I can't wait to turn that nozzle back on in like a month or two. I really did take a big break from just mm-hmm. solely creating because I needed to Learn about the world and myself. Yeah, and it's all good because all that's going to go is still going to come into play when you start creating again. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, it's all just going like to that, right that, out. That time you took off, man, like everything, everything mm-hmm. you do. Well, everything during that time off of creating, I was doing all the live takes and the podcasts and, you know, so I was still yeah. creating. I was painting, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. So I was still creating in a sense, but not in my favorite form. Yeah. So like I'm 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 to the point where like I have I have packets and packets of beats that producers have sent me over the years. So I never am just like searching aimlessly. 
But now I'm at a point where like, I don't even need that. I don't want that. I can make my own shit. So now it's just now about not being lazy and yeah. like creating when I have the creation in my head. So I have a couple questions Absolutely, I want to ask man. you. I've, I definitely totally just rambled for a minute. But I have a couple <laughs> questions I want to ask you. Um, If you can think off of this, whatever would be the album, the Sweet Sounds album, which actually you wound up calling the group, right? Mike Carney and the yeah, Sweet well, Sound. Yeah, well, they want, yeah, they, they agreed to be called the Sweet Sound. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. Singular. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. The Sweet Sound. Yeah. That's not As of now, fun. at least, as of right no, now. No, I like I don't it. Think, Mike Carney think, and the Sweet Sound. I don't fine. think anything's concrete yet, but, but. Man, just like Poor Soul is spelled poor, P O U R, you could spell Sweet Sound like sweet. Yeah. Like a sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. But um, if you can remember out of these specific songs, like, uh, what's your favorite lyric or verse or. Mm. Cause there's some shit that you say that I just love, like um, mm. like that sundress line. Yeah, I think it's the dress, chorus. Yeah. What's the what is it? Take me, take it back to the, take it back to the night when we first met. City light shining down on your sundress. I'll never forget. I'll never forget. I'm how could <laughs> shit? I'll never forget. I can't. Even, I can't even remember. Sweet when I'm not summer singing. songs. You're like a sweet, sweet summer, summer song stuck, stuck in, in my, my head. head. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. That inspired, yeah, that, 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 dude, that, that came about because, you know, Sax Man Art, right? Mm. My other right hand, man. I love that guy. And Shout my, out. we've been gym buddies too, man. We've been hitting the gym together. Dude, I'm working, I see, when you post that, when yeah. I watch your post, I'm waking up an hour or two after that and I get yeah. so fucking pissed. Like, <laughs> how are you getting up at 5 a.m.? Dude, it's hard. I did running. that, like, I did that like once or twice. I can't do. Th- I'm a morning workout guy. I yeah. need to work out first thing. Dude, my my best thing, my favorite thing to do is like my my favorite time to work out is as soon as I get out of yeah, bed. Yeah, same. That's I have like, to. I haven't, I haven't been working all day. And gotta stuff. get like, it over with. You got to. Then you can get that morning shower. Yeah. And go about the day, and it really wakes you up. But five o'clock, dude. <laughs> I I don't. That know. was art, man. And that's the thing too. Art, like art was getting me up, and he's like, because he's got he had to wear. I've been laid off, mm-hmm. so. I would rather just get up at like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and then like have a nice morning. Yeah, eight, eight, nine is perfect. Eight, nine, get that fifteen minute stretch because you yeah, let your man. blood circulate, and then you fucking hit them. Yeah, I started doing jump rope and shit like heavy. I'm jump roping heavy. I do P ninety, and then I like have another workout because I work out from home. Oh, there you go. I'm jealous to that too. That you're fucking out there all over the place. Yeah, man, with, all, with my man Art and uh, who's the trainer? Shawnee. His name's Shawnee Kersey. He's consistent. Dude, yeah, he's a cool, he's a cool motherfucker, man. Hmm. He's, oh, he was on like, he was like in, he's his family's like Jamaican. His dad moved here from Jamaica, mm-hmm. and uh, are they all ripped? He sounds cool, so I think his his dad, they're all like athletic. His dad's probably lean ripped. They're all yeah. like athletic, you know what I mean? And uh, but now he was a football player. He was he went he played for Penn State during the whole Sandusky shit. Like oh. he was there when there was like news reporters on the field and shit like that, wow. and like. But he's been doing those crazy workouts for the football team. He's like the same the same workouts they did for the Penn State football mm-hmm. team. He's been he's been doing that since he's been out of college. So, so he's like, just had it. He's just been doing it every day. So he's just how like, long is it? Not longer than an hour. Well, working out with him. Yeah, like an hour. Sometimes yeah. it's been two hours. Sometimes that's what makes me mad is because like I have. It's hard enough having gaining your own motivation or like discipline. I can't do it on my own. Man. I do it on my own, but if yeah. I like that was the one. I got thing. too much ADD, man. I, I try to work out at home. I maybe do like some push ups and some sit ups. Why P ninety X and shit? Oh, there you go. So like that's a good thing to keep you along the yeah. lines of like stretching and what that thing is. But the first yeah. thing my dad told me when I was like when I moved to Collingswood. Got kicked out of Cherokee, but I actually yeah. just transferred because they were trying to kick me out. Mm. <laughs> but. First thing he said, he was like, because he had a full gym in the basement, and he was like, you gotta, what's up. he didn't want me to bring friends over, but he wants yeah. me to find a training partner. So, like, that didn't make sense. I was like, dude, dad, be my training partner, you know? I realized where my laziness comes from, for real. I love you, dad, but I realized where my laziness comes from, because he's, and dude, I'd be fighting my laziness, mm-hmm. like, fighting. Like, as a creative, I'll create 10 songs right now. Yeah. I'll do it in an hour and a half. Yeah. But I do it quick because I want that yeah. extra hour and a half to be lazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, fucked yeah. up mindset yeah. thing, bro. It's yeah. really fucked up. But my dad, he was like, yo, you you need a training partner. Not for the sake of him coming to this house. For the sake of the days where you don't want to do it, he calls you like, no, we have to. That's what, yeah. That's what the training partner is for. Yeah. 
It's not, and it's 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 not even for the like do one more. I can't. It's yeah. not even for that. It's for strictly the consistency of the days. Yeah, you know, to keep doing it. So like having a training. Um, what are, what are they called? Personal trainer, assistant, a personal trainer. Yeah, yeah it's like a, it's even better because they're yeah, getting man. paid to make. And sure he'll you... do that shit too, Sean. You do. I'll be like, I don't know if we'll I plan do it on today. we'll plan on getting up at like seven and going, and I'll like sleep in. I'll be like. Dude, I'm, it's eight o'clock. I'm sorry. I guess I'm gonna sit this one out. He's like, Nah, nine o'clock. Let's go, man. Mm-hmm. I'm late. I'm running late too. You got it. And I'm like, I got no excuse now. That's what it's about. Yeah. That's what it's, and that's that's for life. Period. So yeah. that's when I was telling you earlier about like the things that fell apart with me and like uh-huh. the groups that I was connecting and all those things. When I, in hindsight, when I looked back at it and took accountability. I realized, like, yo, I was the only one calling people on their shit. No one was calling me on my shit. So if I was being too extra or I talked mm-hmm. too much this night because I had an extra drink, no one came to me and was like, yo, yeah. Bugs, you annoyed me or this or that Re- in reality because none of that really happened. But right. at the same time, it's like, yo, none of y'all checked me. No, yeah. Nobody was like, yo, you're wrong here, you yeah. know? And that was the problem. That's the problem with humans in general, just communication, just being like and pushing each other to be better. He's not pushing you like, hey, come do this heroin. Right, he was right, like, right. come stretch and work out. Better yourself. Yeah, like that's yeah, different. Man. You need that's where the training partner aspect comes in. And that's yeah. kind of how I look at you towards music. Uh-huh. You and me, our relationship. Like, I was like, yo, we need to do live takes of you. I have the guy who can shoot it and edit it. Hell yeah. And we need to just link and like I need your instruments for my live stuff and you yes. and, and you might need me for some of those songs and that's like dude I, that's that when you said that i was like that's why because i'm all about i like to just mingle with people that are driven man and mm-hmm. like ha- and like hard working and mm-hmm. and are just and you're like that man towards you're whatever like, they you're want you're motivated yeah. as hell man and i was like he's on He's on his shit, man. I mean, so. I watch a lot of podcasts. I better fucking be motivated, bro. <laughs> like, like, I, I get too much motivation. That's yeah. the problem. I have so much motivation. I'm just like, ah, I know I can do it. Oh, it's empty. All right, we're going to take a little drink break. We'll be right back, you y'all. Fill it up, Here's man. some sweet sounds. Fill it up. That was that. This is this. So, um, we're gonna bring it back to what we were just talking about. Um, so the like the lyrics, like uh, the sundress, like just the word sundress. Nobody even uses yeah. that in songwriting. So yeah, I don't even know how, dude. Sometimes shit just it just flowed out. Flows out, man. It's it maybe maybe the sound of the of it's weird, man. What did At you least, start with on that? Did you start with the keyboard on that song? No, you know how this song came the about. Bang. I was at I was at, I was at a uh, so back to art my boy art um mm-hmm. he used to have these like um jam not, not jams I, they were like jams he would have like these links at his house mm-hmm. and like there'd be rappers and and musicians and everyone would meet, meet up and he would have like oh, would they play what some people would one person would be uh there he would have this one guy um he would he had the uh the NPC. And he would be producing it. I think I've seen some of that one. We would all just be Ninja directing. Ninja Santos. Might yeah, have been yeah. Around. Ninja Santos. Yeah. Um, Fante. Lester in London. Mm-hmm. And it was actually a beat that Lester yeah, in London. Yeah, actual musicians. Yeah. <laughs> the actual. Lester in London wanted to make, I guess he was trying to make a beat. So he, we had all, art, everybody, we had all the, Hempsey was there. Mm-hmm. We had all these people there and we all, and we all, actually no, he wasn't there. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we had uh, everyone plugged in. We just jammed and freestyled and it came up to this beat and, uh. For some reason, the beat did something to me. Inspired words. Sometimes different sounds inspire different words in my brain. Mm-hmm. And that's I just remember, I just remember, I was just like smoking a little bit, drinking, and I would like go up and I would go to the bathroom. I'd just be thinking of, and looking in the mirror, just thinking of words and to that beat. Mm-hmm. And uh, just that's the line that came out. And I, I so laid the it tempo down. was like, dun, dun, yeah, it was like so it was that it was it was already there. <laughs> and uh, I laid the vocals down too, just for the hell of it, like mm-hmm. and. Uh, I think he ended up selling that beat to someone. So, but I, but uh, 
I liked my vocals, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna take my You're vocals. You're instrumentalist up. anyway. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so I made my own beat, similar like that. That beat that inspired the vibe of the song, though, pretty much. Mm. And uh, whose beat was it? Lester London. Oh, word, Lester. Yeah, yeah, he's a beast, man. Yeah, no, he's dope. Fucking um, so that so that just whole vibe inspired those words. That's it, man. That that inspired the hook, and then uh, I remember I had a video on my phone of it, <laughs> and. My girl really liked it. And she's like, you should make this song. I was like, well, he sold the Damn beat. Damn well. He was like. Because she heard that yeah, sundress line. Yeah, she's like, and was like, me? I remember. It's about me. <laughs> and, uh, That's exactly what it was. And uh, she, she and I was like. She me. I was like, he, he already sold the beat. And she's like, just make make a different yeah, beat. Your I was shit. like, all right, yeah, all right. And then that's how my so song that's it, like, with As a rapper, having beat packs and all this shit to go through, there yeah. are moments where I just need to find some inspiration. So I'll go on, I will go on YouTube every now and then and be like, I'll literally type in the word I feel. Yeah. Like energy type beat. Free nice. for profit on nice. all platforms. Not no free for profit, and then nice. in the description it says you can't use on Spotify. Bitch, then that's not free for profit, you fucking asshole. So you gotta go free for profit on all platforms, and then you got some producers on YouTube who are like, yo, use this and make all the money. Just shout me out. So those yeah. producers are the ones that I'll pick the beats from when I do yeah. do that, and I'll DM them on Instagram. They all always only have like 100 followers. It makes no fucking sense. But they have like thousands of subscribers on YouTube. And I'll just send them a snippet of the song. And they'll be like, dude, take that shit. You know what I mean? And and it just happens like that. So that's a kind of songwriting form that I do is where like... You find inspiration through other... Beats. Outside resources. Just beats, though. Just beats. Because as a rapper, that's like I'm a lyricist. You gotta feel it too. Yeah, so if I have a beat where like somebody sent me some shit, I'm like, oh, this would be great to do with the band. So like what what we've did. We did song beat songs but we made them live hell yeah man you know whereas you completely just made a different song for that yeah for that one yeah i, I pretty much i took i took the uh you know what i like to do man I, sometimes i like to like for that i already had the melody in the line mm-hmm. so sometimes i just like to have like a just a dry vocal line just vocals and that's it mm-hmm. and then i'll just write the music around the vocals and mm-hmm. like it um I, I write the music to complement the vocals, and that, I, that's like kind of something new. I've been, fu- I've been. With. That's gnarly. Everyone does yeah. it different. Like everyone has a specific method, but I, I'm yeah. like, I'm one of the people who does everything. So like, yeah. I, dude, I found myself writing verses backwards. Dude, uh, yeah. I, I went deep, y'all. Like I with this songwriting shit, like I went some fucking Morpheus. Writing the verses backwards. What do you mean? Writing it from bottom up. And so, uh, so you had the verse already, and then you flip flop. I it? had the finishing line. I was like, yeah. "That has to be the last line," you know. So I started writing backwards. Oh. And then there are some songs where I started in the middle, like that became the middle of the verse. Oh yeah. yeah and then yeah, there's yeah, songs yeah, yeah, where, yeah. like, I started the middle of the chorus, where it yeah. needs like a little pre-chorus. Like, yeah. as far as songwriting, I've started literally probably on every line. Damn, that's true. So hearing what you do as far as building the music around that. Yeah. As a as a rapper, I kind of need to know. I don't need to. I can do acapella, yeah. obviously, but I prefer to know where like the beat is. So I'll obviously make a beat first, or yeah. I'll find the beat. Well, yeah, I I so I'll make I'll make. Well, a like beat you first. had the inspiration already yeah. from the other one. So that exactly. Was, so I, yeah. I already had that. I already, you already did that technically. That yeah. beat inspired me to make the melody of the words. Mm-hmm. So like sometimes I'll make my own. Beat, I'll make a beat, and then I'll write a song over that beat, and then I'll I'll keep the lyrics. And I'll get rid of that beat and make something new to complement the lyrics better. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, dude, you know what's funny you about try music? Sometime. The funny, the funny thing about music is like sometimes you write something and you're just like, "This is it. This is fucking it." Yeah, you know. And then when you record it, you're like, "Nah, <laughs> it's not it." I it's, know, man. It's 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 either something with the delivery or like, but Sometimes. you thought lyrically that it was it, and then when you hear it back, it's not it. Yeah. And then the same thing opposite. Sometimes you're like, "I'm just gonna shit," and it winds up being the shit. That yeah. happens a lot, actually. What do you find yourself doing? Do you find yourself cranking your brain to get shit out, or does it just flow? Is it like we're talking right now? Uh, uh. It's 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 definitely it, it starts off 
as a flow. Mm-hmm. I kind of just flow, but I, it doesn't really... Then you get more in depth. I don't it. really know what the song's going to be about, and I just pretty much... I, I just Sometimes I have to like get a couple... So are you of, just humming a melody or the flow? Like I'm, I hum a melody. Yeah, I hum a melody. I'm like, that melody would work, and I try to like pick words that would fit into that melody, into that arrangement, and sometimes the words don't make sense, but I, I keep doing it until they do make sense, mm-hmm. and then eventually I get enough words where I'm like, what's... I, I don't even... At this point, I don't even no know the subject, song. No anything, subject to know anything, yeah. And then eventually I'm like dude, this is kind of right in itself. And it's and now I feel like I found, like, after a few tries of doing that, I'll get, like, a paragraph down, like, or a verse or something, mm-hmm. or, or a hook. So usually I make the hook first. That's what it seems to be. Mm-hmm. And um, See, that's interesting because, um, because the way you said it makes itself, but you don't think about it, you hum. Like, with yeah. my flow, like, when I hear a beat, I, it's, so, it's different every time. Every single yeah. song is completely different. Like, sometimes I'll just start writing... Sometimes I'll like let it play for ten seconds and mm-hmm. then I find the flow. You know what I mean. But the right. second I find the flow, what I mean is like it makes itself. Is like if if I'm gonna be like da 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 da, yeah. I'm like suck that bitch and me out front. Like <laughs> like however I go butter but butter but whatever vowel I actually yeah. freestyle the humble with yeah. is the vowels I wind up writing with. So if interesting. A e a a e i o u a e i o u. So yeah. like. And up at the bottom, but the bend on bow. Like, so then I'll end it with an O. You oh, know? So, shit. So, like, <laughs> what I, so I'll mumble the flow, but then yeah. when I start writing, it's just like we're talking. Yeah. So there's no thinking. That's what I mean. It makes itself. Yeah. So once I have that, it just goes. Hell yeah. And then the song's done. So this is why I ask any rapper I've been in the fucking studio yeah, with. Yeah, man. The Beatles start, and three minutes later, I'll just be sitting there. They'll be like, you writing? I, I wrote it. Hell like, yeah. I write verses faster than people freestyle. Mm. Like, it's fucking crazy. That's the yeah, one thing that blew my mind. So, for me, it's a so, slow. It's a slow process. It's like, it's like I have OC. I just babble. I babble and I babble words. And I can't do that. I, I would get so annoyed. Like, when, when some rappers play the same beat for more than 15 minutes, yeah. I'm checked out. I'm done. Oh, yeah, I wrote three yeah, songs yeah. already. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, hell yeah. That's, that's just me, though. I feel like that's the, the rapper in you, though. No, rappers don't do that shit. That's no. what I noticed. That's what I learned. Because oh, I run a lot of sessions, too. And I'm like, I realize, like, or the oh, I'm, fuck, I'm the best. Like, <laughs> that's what I realized. <laughs> In reality, I realized like, yo, I'm one of the dopest fucking people. Period. Like, as far as <laughs> as far as creating, like, I don't yeah. have an ego, but as a rapper, I can have an ego, and that's yeah. actually one of the things that fucked me up in the past. Like, right before the thing happened, one of the things that fucked me, I I had no ego, but I had a pride and ego about not having an ego. Mm. So I was living within a paradox of itself. Like, I was so cocky that I wasn't cocky that I was cocky. <laughs> and I realized that I humbled myself to a point where in certain situations, I should have been like, yo, play this song I just made. I should have been like, yo, mm-hmm. let me hear some of your beats. I should have been, you know, like, that's where accountability comes in. Yeah. And then when I, like, take a step back and I realize, like, oh, like, every situation, I was the motherfucker. Kind of like you wind up if you think back i know in all those situations you realize with whatever wound up being created afterwards you had to understand like yo i'm that fucking guy (laughs) i'm the fucking guy and that's honestly like i like why i like i chose you i choose you like dude when i when i opened my arms up and you were the first person it was like there's no nobody else literally and i told you that that i am talking to like and i don't want to you're the only option otherwise i'll stay curled up in a fucking ball you know what i mean so like the creating aspect of writing it like fast as fuck or long as fuck, that doesn't matter. That's an ego thing, like that I was just dis- explaining, like the ego that comes and goes. How fast you write it doesn't matter. What I'm, what it matters is like the content and what you actually fucking say. Yeah, so that's what right, I mean. Like, right. how whatever direction you go with the humbling or humbling, mumbling, yeah, <laughs> humbling, the yeah. mumbling to get into the words to write that to then building the instruments around <laughs> what you built from that. Yeah, that's such a long, tedious process. And remember oh, what I was saying yeah. about laziness? Hell yeah! I think part of the reason I can write fast is so that I can be you lazy. Get it done with. You so I get it be... done with, and, and then we go. So chill. it's it's all a weird thing working together. Like yeah. I'm working fast, so I don't have to write again. Where everybody else thinks like, "Yo, how did you do that that fast?" When in reality. My body's just doing it like that because I want to sit. You want to chill. I just want to sit. Yeah. So, like, you got to think, like, what is making it? Yeah. Drinking a pina colada on the beach every day. Is that what's making yeah. it? Like, not having to worry about shit? Like, I was in that spot. Yeah. And I realized, like, yo, when you're there, you're like, this isn't it. 
Yeah. You're like, I want to be doing shit. I want to mm-hmm. have like motivation to do shit. You know yeah. what I mean? You, you'll really realize that everything you really wanted isn't, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. not anything. That's the paradox. Yeah. So that's why I was telling you earlier off the podcast that I am now finally trying to live in the moment and not think about next week or the week after or the week behind or the month behind. I'm trying to actually just live in the moment and create in the moment because like I said, like, yeah, I can write fast and all my shit's amazing and I'm shitting out gold. But at the same time, what if I did take an extra 10 minutes on that song? Or what if I did take the extra 10 minutes to make the instrumental first versus searching on YouTube like I and many other people do sometimes? So like, that's why I love talking to you. Dude, that, dude there's so many, with music, man, there's, there's so many things mm-hmm. that's like, if this options. was to be options and like it's yeah. like you can either it's like if it was food man if it was chicken you could fry that shit you could mm-hmm. fucking boil it or whatever or yep. grill it or whatever it's like mm-hmm. but sometimes I feel like I've learned that shit fucks like you just gotta go with your initial fe- like your initial feeling you had yeah. I've learned over time like mm-hmm. cause like sometimes you'll get fucked up in the head over that shit man you'll be like oh but it could be like this it could be like this what if I do this what if I did this mm-hmm. well yeah. there's a level of experimenting at that point when you're just like well, let, let, let's try this. That's different. Well, versus, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah versus, yeah, yeah. like... And I'm talking about after you have that, like, already done, like, yeah. going backwards, you know what I mean? Mm. Like that's And that's the thing. We I've all done do, that a lot, We man. all think about the past, like, and we're just relating it to music theory and how we create, but, like, carrying it into my life and laziness and why, like, it's it's a real thing. Like, yeah. how can I... All right, I'm talented. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. I can write fast because I'm talented. But what's the real reason? This is what I'm saying. The real reason is because I don't want to ha- use a lot of time writing. Yeah. And I think the best... The free-flowing mind is the best thing. It's why we freestyle oh, yeah, melody. We freestyle yeah. and hum. And a lot of greats do it. You'll see when you watch the Kanye thing. He oh, yeah. all the way he he would hum and like just kind of mumble shit into oh, it. Oh, dude, and that dude. Oh, dude. And that's kind of where mumble rap came. But yeah, what about that dude? You ever heard of Rebie? Oh, what's his name? Rebier. Mark Mark Rebie? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Re- that dude, the dude who does like the free the live performance. Yeah, thing. that guy, man. That guy's. Yeah, he's the reason I want one of those looper things. Yeah, man. He does some crazy. I could shit do crazy shit with that. I could do that shit on the fly too. But that's the thing. That's where laziness comes. I out. could never do that, man. Yeah, you could. You think so? It's a looper pedal, bro. Not vocals, though, man. <laughs> no, yeah, you could. You could totally. Do I can't it. just whip up. Fucking the problem drip. is the confusing thing is like the tempo and stuff. If you don't know how to actually work the, the like the thing that they're doing, because mm. like it's a blink, like one, two, three, click it, I, 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 and it keeps repeating. The thing that fucks me up is like what button they press to mute only two of them. Oh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah, get it yeah. back, and then there's a phaser. Like, I, dude, me, you would murder that shit. I would murder it. You're a solo musician. You're the kind of guy. You did the Tosh Sultana cover. Like, oh, you yeah. kind of did it. Well, yeah. You did it. You did do it. But that's what I'm saying. We can do that. Like, a mm-hmm. motherfucker like you doing that is legendary. A motherfucker like me doing that is legendary. But lazy. <laughs> there's, there's so much other shit that I do do that I feel like justifies that, which clearly doesn't. So, like, that's where I'm at the spot where it's like, fuck it. I'm just going to do everything, whichever one I feel like doing. So, like, whereas you were like, I don't even know the words that I'm saying. When I say the song makes itself, regardless of the vibe, I cannot not write what I feel like, though. So, like, if I'm angry at a bitch, oh, yeah, you're right, then I'm yeah. going to be talking about a thought. Yeah, right. If I'm, like, angry at a dude, I'm going to be talking about metaf- yeah. metaphorically that shit, you know? Oh, if I'm angry at the universe, whatever. Or if I'm happy, I'm going to be talking about that. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Like, it makes itself, but it is venting at the end of the day. And I just yeah. rhyme it, you yeah, know, you, whatever yeah. scheme it is. Super interesting. Hell yeah, man. It's super interesting because writing, well, like I said, you, we said you did already have, like, technically the beat, you know, before yeah. it. So. Yeah, the beat always, ins- I, need, I always need a beat to inspire. So was that, so was that technically the Sweet Sounds? Would, would you consider that the song? What? That, like, led into the Sweet Sounds vibes? What? The um the one you did it? Oh, no, that was way after. Oh, oh. That was oh, way oh. after, yeah. Yeah, that was, like, yeah, that was way after. Word. Sweet Sounds, yeah. Sweet Sounds happened, like, I feel like... Mailman. I, oh, the mailman's here? Yeah. You got anything good out there? No, it's dark out Taxes. there. Looks scary over there. 
Mm. Dude, I did just get taxes back. I do my taxes, government. I gotta do my taxes, get my it. money, I, cousin. My W two, my I've been moving so much, man. My W two got lost in the sauce, oh, man. Yeah, that's the worst. Except they went to the wrong address. Now I gotta wait for it to come to my house. Or that's a whole nother ball. Whole you couldn't thing, even go man. there and get it. I don't know, maybe. Oh, because no one lives there yet. So it wasn't nah, like people, just... dude. People for some reason they had my address in my parents' old house, and people live there now, and they they sent it there. They went so. there, dude. We be getting mail from old shit too. It's <laughs> the mail shit kind of confuses me. Yeah, <laughs> how man. how they get that shit out there and that that whole system is fucking crazy to me. Yeah, man. You got carriers. You got packagers. You got think about how many people are just working, like just working. I don't want to go into the society. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. Let's let's cancel right, that. Sure. So so anyway. after that, so so that started because I wanted you to say like if you can try to fester up what like your favorite lyric that you made is. My favorite lyric that I made. Yeah, that Ooh. you wrote. Like one of one of your favorite lyrics or something. Mm. One of the new ones. Whatever, just is in your head all the time. Mm. You know, like what. Because, like, the sundress line, I just use that as the first one to blurt out. But if we went in depth to, like, line by line to one of your songs, like, yeah. let's pick one. Like, what's gor- how's Gorilla start? Gorilla. Uh, I like that. Oh, I like this line in Gorilla. Mm-hmm. So, so when I wrote that song, same, same, I used, I was living in this very shitty house. Mm-hmm. The same house I was, the, pretty much the house I was living in when I decided to, like, with I cash? No, nah, I wasn't living with cash. No, man. like, when you, in West that, Defer- video, that video with you and cash freestyling. Oh no! That was a there was a place before it was uh-huh. two houses before that. Oh wow! That right. place was shitty though too, man. Uh-huh. That was the studio apartment, man. Mm-hmm. But now nah, I, li- I was literally living in this house that like I was paying like three hundred dollars a month, and it was like so cheap. But it was my first house. I just wanted to move out of my parents' house, so I moved out mm-hmm. so I could play the music, s- fucking smoke weed and shit, and, mm-hmm. and uh, so I no just, real reason he. Reality, yeah. he just wanted to smoke weed. Yeah, in peace. <laughs> I just moved out, and I got my the first option I took. My buddies, I moved in with my buddy, who's like his like sister and her her his brother in law got divorced, and then they they moved and they left him the house and whatever, and, hmm. and he was just paying them like six hundred dollars rent or something. Word. So I moved in with him, but this house was like, dude, there was like. My closet and my bedroom had literally had a gaping hole in the ceiling. Like, oh, geez. like I could see the sky. <laughs> and like I had to keep a trash can there every time it rained. Wow. Like you said, all the water would go in there. But I made some tunes in that house. Though, man. I made sweet sounds in that house. Hmm. And I made the gorilla song in that house. And it was right next to a truck stop. Or uh, it was right next to a truck, a trucking mechanic company. They worked on uh, tractor trailers. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was called Great Dane. And I was like, look, I was trying to think of a lyric, and I was like playing guitar in a room. I saw the Great Dane song. I was like, my heart's greater than the Great Dane. Difficult to tame. Should have tied that shit up and changed. It, 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 it inspired a whole you entire never verse. You no yeah. way. Dude, it, just looking at that sign inspired a whole verse. And I was like, damn, shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, damn, my heart's, my heart's greater than the Great Dane. That's know. happened a lot to me. Like, just look, I'll be writing, and whatever I see in the room happens. Yeah, man. Or if I see like, yeah, little things like that inspire lines. Yeah, man. Is that why you connected it to the gorilla? Because the first line was the Dane. Dude, I think the gorilla literally just came out of nowhere. Like a gorilla. Like the beat. Like I had to. So that song started with the bass line. Boom, 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 boom. That's such a good riff. And I just think I'm, I'm thinking of like it's giving me like. Yeah, like jungle, jungle vibes. vibes. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, a jungle, jungle vibe. vibe. It's a jungle vibe. <laughs> yeah, so like that's Jinx, why. Jinx, you owe me whiskey. Like a gorilla. You owe me like, whiskey. Yeah, man. Yeah, that one's fucking amazing. And so I'm, I, I like that when we filmed that, dude. Tame, difficult to tame. I like that when we filmed that. It was like a, it was like a greenish, bluish. Yeah, jungle, those colors were great. Jungle hue, man. Try to relax. So after yeah. that line, it goes right into like the pre-chorus. Yeah. Before I start losing myself, I already had an eye. Don't have know. an eye or had an eye? I already have an eye. Don't know if you ever come back. Like, yeah. Got my beat in my chest, yeah, like a goo, yeah. Snip it. <laughs> We're back. I'm going to put that shit right there. And that, that was like... We're back. That was one of the first songs 
where I think I, so when I had all these songs, which I didn't have like a I didn't have a laptop or nothing. I didn't have any recording software. I had mm-hmm. a looper pedal, like one little basic well, one. We were just talking about it, yeah. Exactly. And all I had was a keyboard and my my um, my guitar and uh, and um, I would just loop everything. That's how I like made all these songs. I would like like the first version of the songs. I would just I would make the bass line on the keyboard and I would loop that. I would make the drum beat or I'd make the drum beat first and the bass line, then the guitar, and then I would just like chill and just like drink beers and shit and smoke mm-hmm. and just think. Just like think of words and words it would just come so, out. Of me. It sounds so like words would modern out, but man. old school at the same time, <laughs> and I miss it. But I know yeah. like we're doing it. Yeah. You know, it's that, so that's weird. how like that's how I started. That's how I was like first started doing your own shit. shit yeah. yeah, doing your own shit, and mm-hmm. that's that's what's key. That's what's important. Like, so you wrote. So how long? Like six years ago, seven years ago. Um, Gorilla. Five years ago. Uh, so I would say that that was when you found your shit. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's around the time and I you, found it. Dude, that song's been ripped down and started over so many times. Like I was saying before. I don't like, have any songs like that. Dude. Because I'm a rapper. So yeah, like, true that. It's lyrics <laughs> and that's it. So when yeah, I started man. getting melodical the last three years, when yeah. I really, four years, when I found my voice as a singer, because I started rapping because I couldn't sing. Mm. So like now that I found my melodic voice as far as like holding a key, mm-hmm. not within auto tune, but because of that, you know what I mean? Because of auto tune, it taught me where I was going flat. So oh, I was, yeah, I was able to technologically look at my voice and see, oh shit, like I, I think I'm hitting it live because it's like anybody who yeah. hears their voice on like the first time you heard your voice back on a phone, you were probably like, I hate my fucking voice. Everybody hates their voice. It's a weird thing Hell yeah. when they hear it back for the first time. Yeah. So like, I remember <clears throat> still, I thought man, I thought I could sometimes. sing, bro. I swore yeah. in third grade mm-hmm. I could fucking sing, and I sang a song on a recording. Like a, it was a voice. It was a, a voicemail, like on a house phone voicemail. Like when I was ten, mm. nine years old, and I was just testing it just to see what I sound. Nah. There was no way I was ever going to be a fucking singer. And I really, really, really thought that I was doing good. I bet you were, man. You probably just... I probably was, but I over overkilled myself. But you know what happened? That was when I was 10. I didn't touch music until eight years later when Rock Band came out. I learned how to drum, oh, yeah. I learned how to drum from Rock Band. Oh, shit. That's how I started drumming. From <laughs> Rock Band? Damn. Yeah, if I if I if guitars if the guitars had strings, mm-hmm. I'd be we we'd be gone. I wouldn't be here. Because I'd be one of them guitars soloing, I, I know, shredding, I, I can, and I'd be rapping and singing, and I'd be doing all that shit. But that didn't happen. Yeah, it's weird. I could play guitar, but when I... Play the game, you couldn't do that. I played the game. I couldn't play Every the Every guitar says that. I couldn't do it, man. Because you're used to get doing those up and down. Mm-hmm. You're not used to that. For me, it was just like... Doing that and shit. And I'm just terrible at video games in general. I don't mm-hmm. know what it is. It's like... It was really good for I'm like terrible. my eye hand eye coordination. Yeah, you and I don't to have a lot. Of you gotta that. listen. So like, as a drummer, bro, you gotta like drumming's like riding a bike. Excuse me. If if you can dance, you can yeah. fucking drum. But a lot of people can't oh, dance. Yeah, 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 but yeah, if yeah. you can go one, two, three, four, yeah, you're a fucking drummer. <laughs> That's it. So all you do is one, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, when I started on Easy on yeah. Rock Band, I was like, bro, do I have to go to, like, hard? And, dude, I was playing my first three, like, my first day or two, I was playing hard Metallica. Oh, shit. I was like, oh, I see why they're, because I didn't like rock. I thought everyone who listened to rock music was racist. Really? At that age, when I was in 10th grade, because I, <laughs> I was the white kid that wore big shirts. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, lis- oh, I listened to rap. Yeah. So everyone that called me a wigger listened to rock. So uh. I literally thought if you picked up an instrument, you were a fucking racist cocksucker. And oh, then shit. I got That's Guitar heavy. Hero and Rock Band, and I was like, oh my fucking God, this is what they're doing? Because I'm a rapper. Yeah. So, like, I knew there was a DJ. Yeah. And I knew he was spinning old records and flipping them in a creative way. Yeah. But I did not know that, like, the strings and the uh, tuning and the... I didn't... I was like, oh, my God, I'm so dumb. Like, <laughs> I have the utmost respect for musicians at this point because I, I knew drums were easy, but I yeah. knew guitar was, like... Yeah impossible so whenever i met a guitarist after that i was just like dude like what's your style what do you do you know <laughs> and i'm funny, big on man. improv because my friends 
the friends I did have that listened to rock listened to the Disco Biscuits. Oh, nice. And man. the fucking uh, Grateful Dead and shit. So they weren't like rock. They were experimental CIA yeah. experiments, you know? So that's where my improv influence comes from. It's like I'm a rapper based on freestyling and telling your story built around wanting to be like the best instrumental musician yeah. around improv itself. Yeah. So if I can just get in a room with a good guitarist, a good keyboardist, a good bassist, me added to that as a drummer or DJ looping beats or whatever, or a lyricist, yeah. that's like kind of where I saw it going, you know what I mean? As far yeah, as like yeah. at the, the end goal of like the whole group thing being connected. But it's it's really funny how these things play out with certain musicians because everybody has yeah. a different way. But like when I hear you tell your your version of how you create and connecting it with how I, I know, create man. and then the other stories, they all kind of do root to the same mumble thing. Yeah. We're just making those tones. Like I yeah. was saying in, in the kitchen, like t- yeah. like that right there is a shape. Yeah. We can't see it, but it, it changes molecules and things shapes. So like every tone is a specific, specific thing. So there's a reason that it... yeah, there's a reason certain music sticks out to me, just like certain shit sticks out to you, yeah. and certain shit will stick out to you guys differently. There's a reason for that because it's literally biologically changing our shit. It's it's crazy to think That's about. Some trippy shit. It, it really is crazy to think about, and everything is sound. But so so that lyric is gnarly and gorilla. So I have another question. Um. Let's just turn it into an interview. Fucking. Okay. What's your favorite thing about performing? Is it um, telling your story? Is it just the energy from people that you feel? Is it uh, nailing a solo? Is it. Hmm. Because we obviously we don't like the setup. The Nobody likes setting it up. <laughs> like, I hate setting it up. I hate that shit. I think it's the adrenaline. The adrenaline, which is the energy, the energy. that you feel yes. from people. Yes. It's not nervous, not no. anxious to perform. It's energy. An- uh, yeah, it's like Pure, uh, It's not eyes. It's excited. not about being the center of percent excitement. Attention. Yeah. It's excitement. That's yeah. what it is. It's excitement. Yeah. Like how I feel like when I'm coming up in a show, I'm just like. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's punch them in the face. And then after the show, and I just can't sleep. And I'm just like... Days of shows, bro, I cannot sleep. Like the day before, I'm so excited. And I'll go to bed at like 3 a.m. And then if I just wake up to go to the bathroom at 8, I'm up. You're up, yeah. Because I know that there's a lot of setting up, especially with band shit. Yeah. There's a lot of setting up. But I'm excited. It's not because like, oh, fuck. Yeah. I got to go to work today. Nah. Nah, it's like, I'm yo, hype. I get to fuck some faces. I'm hype, man. Yeah, that's I get what to it dance is. and the, walk around the crowd with the guitar. I love your shit. dance, dude. <laughs> Hit him with the Carney wiggle, dude. <laughs> Carney hits him with a wiggle, dude. <laughs> you have a specific wiggle you do. It's know, so man. great, dude. It's a twist. <laughs> Yeah, it's a twist yeah, and you yeah, hold yeah. the guitar out. Yeah. And you make sure you don't hit the mic stand. I know. Somehow I never do. <laughs> I'm not That's like so focused great. on not hitting. So <clears throat> you started off there, went to heavy metal, and then kind of like a reggae chill vibe. Yeah, it sucks because like when I first started, like I was focused on singing and stuff. And mm-hmm. like and like I feel like I was making some progress singing and writing songs. But then like when the whole screamo metal thing came out, I feel like I, I wasn't going to be a screamer. I was in hell no. So we, I would have. We oh, had, so you had the other side first, and then yeah, that. Phase I had that, came. and then I went into just a guitar riff. Like I would write, write the guitar riffs, and then there would be a screamer or all that. And I did that for like four years, mm-hmm. and then like that's so just not me. Singing. That's just not me. I stopped singing. Yeah, and I think mm-hmm. I don't think it was really me either. Mm-hmm. But I, everyone around me. Like, but that was your time. That was where you were. It was who you were. Around. That's where I was. You're I was around, around bikers that, and, and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? So like, and then like after the high school and stuff like. Well, well, towards the end of high school, like, I started just chill. Like, we kind of chilled out. My, our drummer moved to, like, he moved to Cape May or something, and he wasn't in our town anymore, so, like, we didn't really jam. The metal band didn't play as much. The things with bands, dude. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's what sucks. That's what, stems, that's what the solo stuff stems from. Because you, yeah. exactly. you expect to have five other carnies. Exactly. You expect to have five other motherfuckers that are out here writing bass lines, learning how to drum. Yeah. Figuring out, okay, I'm not a screamer. 
yeah. and committing to it, you know? Like, that's the thing about being in a band or being in any group or any working with other people. That's, like, why they say, you want it done right, do it by your fucking self. Yeah. So what did you start doing? You got your laptop, you started making it your own, and now you're making, like, the best shit out here, period. <laughs> like, literally. Oh, and like I said, like, everything that I've done, everything that I have is on tuck because I want to... I want to have everything that I've done before, I just dropped. Yeah. Now I, I do want to make it special. Mm-hmm. I do want to have some sort of rollout with the shit that I do. So I'm holding on nice, to my man. stuff. And that's kind of like where you are too. You're Pretty much, man. Holding on to it and make doing it right. Making it, perfecting it and, mm-hmm. you know, not... not uh, So that you're actually happy with it and not... Exactly. I don't want to drop nothing, if drop something if I'm not happy with it for sure. That's why I only drop one song. <laughs> Mm-hmm. so far no but that song is so good yeah it's, and that song came a long way man shit six years are just but all it takes is one that's like the motivating thing about music that's one yeah. of the things like let's make six songs a day cause like who knows which one will go and like yeah you're right man sometimes the stupidest shit is the one that's it my favorite it's song it's all about with the, the only... feeling it's, about, it's all about the initial feeling man mm-hmm. my favorite song with the only way honestly to play and like I think this is the one that would go big is Face Yes. F A C E. Yeah. That's the chord progression. Yeah, hell yeah. F A C E. He hell was yeah. tripping face one day and he played F A C E. Yeah. Tripping face and he made a song called Face. Hell yeah. That song. Who? Dara? Dara. At any time, if we actually what recorded. A beast. Like, if anything, at this point, let's do the shock value. Fuck our amazing ballad and amazing yeah. rock songs and amazing shit. Let's just hit them with the. I took 30 hits of acid and now, now I'm tripping, tripping face. face. Playing F A C E. F A C E. We even do that in a part of the song. Hell yeah. Like that that's the shit that I think like if we just actually pushed one thing, I think yeah. that should be it. But Todd looks at it as a joke. Yeah, you know? I like this. They song. all look at it as a joke. It obviously is. Let the good times. Something. Whatever. Good times is a song that that should be pushed too. I love that one. We did man. a little. We did a little video for that. A little rollout for that. When, uh, like when we dropped let the good four times years ago, flow, right? Good times. It's just called good times. Let the good times roll. Yeah, let the yeah. good times roll. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's when you'd be screaming in the crowd. Yeah, I'd be moshing. <laughs> like, I'd be moshing and man. shit. Yeah, I'll put that clip there. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. But um, but dude, I don't want to hold you up. I have a lot of questions I want to ask you, but I'll get you back on another one. I think we, I'm down. Think for we that, hit bro. that hit that spot. But um, follow my guy Carney, dude. Me and him are gonna do a lot more. You'll see him a lot more. That's why I'm not pressed. So oh yeah, me and my man Bugs, dude. My guy. Bugs, dude. Bugs, dude. Bugs, dude. Bugs, dude.